This is how bees act when they don't accept the new queen bee. If the queen bee is in the cage, then they're gonna attack the cage. They hold so tight to the cage that it's hard to move them. They're so aggressive towards that queen in the cage. They don't even care that I'm trying to push them away. Okay, let's try to remove them. See, it's not that easy. They're coming back and trying to reach the queen to kill her. But the cage doesn't let them to touch the queen. Do you know what happens if you will release the queen in this situation? This is what bees will do to the queen bee, rejected queen bee. It's the bees are trying to cook the queen. There is a queen inside of this ball and bees are raising the temperature very high that the queen is gonna be killed by the heat. Look, this queen is yellow inside of the ball. Can you hear the queen? Do you think she's screaming for help? Look, they smell the queen they don't like, so they start running, circling. This is how bees usually behave. Towards the queen, they accept. Can you see the difference? How can we solve this problem? First, you need to check your beehive to see if there are any queen cells in it. The colony with queen cells will most likely reject the new queen. As you can see, there are some queen cells on the frame. You can remove those queen cells, but don't forget to eat the royal jelly from them. Also, if there is already a queen in a hive, the bees will not accept the new queen. Look at this bee. It's stinging. It's stinging the, the queen cage. Some bees are flying. Some bees are busy collecting the nectar from the flowers and some bees are busy killing the queen it's just a normal day for the beehive so how bees know if they want to reject or accept the queen bees communicate with chemicals called pheromones which they sense through their antennae Bees use pheromones to find and recognize each other and to locate enemies during defense of the beehive. Bees have a very sensitive sense of smell and they can easily recognize who belongs to their colony. So, if some creatures don't have the correct smell or pheromone of that particular colony, then these creatures are going to be expelled and might be killed. The same rule applies to the queen bee. If the queen bee has the same smell as the colony, then she is accepted and she will be treated like a queen. If the queen doesn't have the smell or pheromone of the colony, you know what's gonna happen to her? The queen bee is an enemy if she has different smell. This is the trick I do to help the new queen to be accepted by the colony. 
I put the cage with the queen into the beehive. So after many hours, the new queen is gonna get the same smell as the colony. Just make sure there are no queen cells or another queen in the beehive. This queen was accepted by my colony perfectly. Bees can find their way back to their queen using a sophisticated form of the telephone game. Even after foraging for hours, they can smell the pheromones of the bees between them and their queen once they are within a few meters of the crowded hive. These pheromones relay messages to create a some kind of map that tells them where to go. Every bee in the hive knows her queen even if she has never physically met the queen. How is that possible? There are around 30-50 thousand bees in the hive and each of them knows the queen. Look at these bees around the queen. They are the attendants of the queen. They face the queen. They touch her with their antennae. Why would they need to touch her all the time? Attendant bees pick up the queen pheromone on their antennae, body and mouth parts and spread the pheromone throughout the colony as they exchange food and liquids with other bees. This kind of pheromone is called queen mandibular pheromone or QMP. This chemical is produced by the queen and fed to her attendants who share it with the rest of the colony to give the colony the sense of belonging to the queen. Newly emerged queens produce very little QMP. By the sixth day they are producing enough to attract drones for mating. A laying queen makes twice that amount. QMP also function as a retinue pheromone, causing retinue behavioral and psychological changes in the female worker bees. These changes attract young worker bees to the queen to fulfill her grooming and feeding requirements. Look how gentle these bees with the queen. They feed the queen, they clean the queen. This is how this chemical, this pheromone works. And this queen does not smell very good for the bees. So this chemical is transferred through the contact from the queen to young workers and in turn to the rest of the hive's workers. In doing so, the queen elicits behavioral changes in remaining workers, preventing the rearing of the new queen and preventing ovary development. Did you know that worker bees can develop ovaries and start laying eggs? Yes, they can, if the hive stays queenless for a long time. But this colony will die quickly because the worker bees can lay only unfertilized eggs. Unfertilized eggs give rise only to male bees that are referred to as drones. This is not good. This is not good. So make sure your colony has a queen. The colony without the queen is doomed. 
This is how they fly. Look at the sky. <laughs>